In my opinion, I wouldn't buy this one again. I'm just so tired of having so much shit. Get you one today for Cyber Monday. I love the heel on them. And we're gonna crock pot. Good morning, everyone, from my blue kitchen. Welcome back to another vlog. It's Monday, you guys know I love Mondays. And it is a chilly, gloomy day. We're about to have like a really good cold front, which I cannot wait because I love the cold. It's gonna drop to like the 40s tomorrow. So it's pretty chilly right now and very, very gray. But I personally kind of love it. I slept so bad because I'm like two days away from getting my period, so I started cramping. Not to bore you with that stuff, but you guys know I love Mondays. I love getting my week started on the right foot. Um, so I'm just making my coffee right now. I'm normally not hungry in the mornings, but I still don't want to eat. I don't want to drink my coffee on an empty stomach. So I have, I think I'm going to do a piece of toast. I have um, the sourdough from Aldi. It's probably the best sourdough, honestly. I'm going to do like a little slice of bread. Like this one's pretty small. Um, there's only three ingredients in it. I'm doing a hot coffee today just because it's gloomy. I feel like it's fitting. And then for the rest of today, I am um, I have to go to the post office because I have packages for BNC to drop off. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more if I have the products here. Okay, I just finished making my coffee. I didn't film yesterday at all. I needed like, just like a little bit of a break. Yesterday we ended up going to the grocery store. I got everything that I needed for the week because if you live in anywhere that has a Publix, there, you guys know obviously Publix is like when the BOGOs are going on, that's like the best time to go to Publix because Publix is so expensive. They have these chicken breast fillets. These are just bare. These are my favorite. No antibiotics, humanely raised on family farms. They're just, in my opinion, the best chicken that you can get. They're BOGO, like buy one, get one free. So I got two of these for $8 and this has like two huge things of chicken. So I bought two of those. I bought some beef chuck because I'm gonna make beef stew this week. I feel, I don't know, I feel like it'll be really yummy. But I actually prepped yesterday. Pickled onions. In here I have some pico. I feel like because of Thanksgiving, like I love Thanksgiving and I don't hold back on Thanksgiving. I'm gonna eat everything I want. But because I normally do eat a lot of vegetables, come Thanksgiving, I feel like I don't eat that many vegetables and I just feel really like sluggish. So I was like, I'm just gonna get myself back into my groove. So I made, I prepped all my vegetables. I still have some bell peppers and stuff that I wanna prep. And I just wanna make sure I have yummy meals to go around and I'm going to put one of these chicken breasts in the crock pot. I'm gonna put them in the crock pot and do like my crock pot chicken so I can just have chicken for the next couple of days. And I'll just either do tacos out of them or wraps or burrito bowls, like really anything. But I hate cooking for lunch. Like I do not like cooking lunch. So if it's already made for me and I just have to assemble it, it's like perfect. Funny, a lot of you guys were saying that you were influenced to buy the anthropology glass. Um, and all of the Christmas ones are gone. I'm telling you, these people that buy them are like savages. They don't, they, they go in. And I didn't get to get the Christmas tree, but it's okay. The other ones, the hearts, the, the traditional ones, like the ones that are here year round, they're on sale right now. So I would say check those out. I'll leave them linked. I almost got one of them, but I just don't feel like paying for the shipping. And I don't feel like spending $50 because there's not really anything else that like I really, really want right now. And I don't want to buy anything that I'm like, not like dying over. Um, I do think I'm going to do some sort of like Black Friday, what I bought for Black Friday haul. I didn't buy a lot. That's the only reason I feel like I'm going to do it. Because um, I did pick up a couple of things. Which I'll show you everything. Mainly closet stuff because that's where like... I told you guys I want to get rid of all my clothes. Not all my clothes, just like the clothes that really don't excite me to wear. And the thing is, I really love everything that's in my closet. But realistically, if I'm not grabbing to wear it, it doesn't matter if I love the way that it looks on the hanger. I need to be wearing it. I'm going through everything, getting rid of as much as I can. Some I'm going to donate and some I'm going to sell on my Poshmark. But I need to do like a second round 
I like to like, whenever I'm going through my closet, I'll go through things, take a break, and then I'll revisit and be like, okay, is there anything that I else that I don't still wanna keep? I have a ton of boots that like I just don't grab for because I knew I was gonna get rid of those. I replaced, I bought two pairs of boots. I think for both it was under 100 because of the sales. One pair in like a red and another pair in a brown, which I'm really excited about. One shirt, which isn't very exciting. I'll show you guys once it comes. It's not exciting. It's like a basic, but it's a basic that I notice I'm wearing so much that I'm like, I should get another one. Um, and I got a fringe skirt that I really, really wanted. It's a sequin fringe skirt. I'm ready to just clear everything out. I've noticed even with like my fragrances, I told you guys like all the fragrances that I have, I like, but right now there's only one getting me really excited and it's the newest one that I've got. And that one, I think that new perfume that I got has gotten me more compliments than any perfume I've ever worn, ever. Every single time someone smells me, oh my God, you smell delicious. Oh my God, you smell like a sugar cookie. Oh my God, you smell so good. So I'm like, this is the only perfume I ever wanna wear. So I'm kind of just trying to phase out everything that I own to really only have the things that I really love and really bring me joy, especially because I wanna transform that room. So when I go in there, I want to really look at it and be like, wow, I love it all. Like, that's the feeling that I want when I go in there. I had gotten requests to kind of just like talk through the process. So I would love to do that if you guys are interested in it. I switched out my wreath yesterday from my Thanksgiving wreath to my Christmas wreath. I don't wanna put up Christmas lights outside until December 1st. So, waiting for that. All right, getting the day started. Um, we came back from a walk. I just did a couple of orders, threw them in my car, and we're about to go to the post office and get these dropped off for customers. I have to use the bathroom. I should have done that before I left. And there is a Goodwill right next door. So I think I'm just gonna pop in just to see what they have. And when I get home, I'm gonna do some crock pot chicken. I'm just gonna set it up and make it cook because I think I wanna do chicken tacos tonight. And if I can just have the chicken cooking so that later on when we go to eat dinner, literally everything is done. The chicken's already cooked. I have pico already prepped, pickled onions already prepped. I cannot wait to do my nails. I'm like over this. And I need to put gas in my car. I'm gonna turn it because you're gonna take forever. Okay, dropped off orders, pulled up next to the Goodwill. So let's see what we can find. Literally the post office is right there and Goodwill's right here. So let's see. All right, that was a really short trip. That's a really, 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 really small Goodwill. So I wasn't really expecting to find anything and I didn't. Um, they didn't have much and it was kind of busy in there. Okay, back home. It's my chicken defrosted. I took out the filet of chicken breast so that I can um, get my crock pot going and we're gonna crock pot. You guys already know the drill. If you don't have a crock pot, you are missing out. Get you one today for Cyber Monday. I'm gonna try to get this vlog up today. It's Cyber Monday. I understand not everything is a need. Like if you can, if, it, if you don't need it, cool. But the way that a crock pot makes your life a hundred times easier, I feel like that's a need. If I needed a new crock pot, I would get one immediately. Let me put it on low. Chicken broth. Where's my selfie? 
We're gonna do some chicken broth and we're gonna do some sofrito. If you don't have sofrito, I don't know what to tell you, but that's going in this pot, in this crock pot. I've had mine for like eight years. It is so dingy and beat up and, and it's still, she's been going strong. She's been riding with me and I won't get rid of it until it's broken. Like I just won't. So I'm putting some sofrito at the base. I'm gonna do like two spoonfuls. So I have these two Just Bear Boneless Skinless Chicken Breast Filets. So I'm just going to cook this and this is going to be dinner tonight. And will be meat for lunches. It could be leftovers. And no, I have told you guys before, I do not rinse my chicken with water or anything like that. That is very, very, very controversial and I know that I grew up rinsing my chicken with like vinegar and water but after years and years of knowing chefs personally that they preach not to rinse your chicken they say that you can like put vinegar or lime or some sort of citrus on your meat but running it under water just transfers a lot of bacteria and can make you sick so i just avoid doing it and now i just Either we'll put lemon, I'll put lime, vinegar into the meat and let it cook out, you know, whatever. So I'm just squeezing lemon juice in there. My phone is about, or my camera's about to die. So we got some citrus. And now we season. So I'm using a ton of garlic powder. And I always say, when you're cooking something in the crock pot, season it, like a lot. Because you have to add liquid to it so that it can cook in that. And the liquid will soak up a lot of the seasoning. So like, season your food. So I'm using a lot of garlic powder. Let me bring you guys like here. Like I'm talking a lot. I season with my heart. have some chili powder then we're gonna go in with some chicken broth this is reduced sodium it's just what I have so get all up in there then we're gonna do some salt And I have two massive chicken breasts in here. Like these are not little, <laughs> they're big. Oh shit. Well, I guess I gotta throw this in the washing machine. Just make sure your stuff is seasoned. There we go. And then you put the lid on and you don't have to look at it until it's done. Boom. And later when it's time for dinner, I will already have meat completely done. I literally told Tyler, do not wash my cups in the dishwasher. They're not dishwasher safe and he keeps putting them in the dishwasher. And if they mess up, he's, he's getting me new cups. Um, okay, so there we go. Dinner is in the crock pot. I might even use that for lunch too. If it's ready by lunchtime, let me actually put it on high. If it's ready for lunchtime, I'll eat it with some I don't know, some veggies. And I'm actually getting pretty hungry, so I think I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I just got out of the shower, I had the most delicious breakfast. I made a breakfast burrito, two scrambled eggs, pico, a little bit of like a jalapeno cheddar on a low carb, like big burrito tortilla thing. It was so freaking good. And hot sauce, of course. Um, I'm gonna do my nails now. And I have no idea what color I want to do. Excuse me. Like. At all.
pulling out what I need from my closet. Maybe I'll do gray. This is like my favorite gray of all time. It's called I Can Only Wear OPI. It's very cute. So yeah, maybe I'll do that. Ugh. I'm finally done with my nails. Here is how they look. I love this color. It's called I Cannoli Wear OPI. Like cannoli like the dessert. It's like the most beautiful, like, see, like cement gray, but it's very light and bright. I trimmed them down a lot because they were so freaking long. And I just feel way better. It's already 1.30. I feel like the day has like flown by. Also because doing your nails takes freaking forever. I'm about to check, check this chicken real quick. It's been cooking now for a couple of hours. Oof. That looks delicious. I wanna like rip it open and see if it's cooked on the inside. It should be. Yes, it is. Oops. All right, now, so I'm gonna just take it out real quick. Then we're gonna take another fork and we're gonna shred this up. And it literally just like falls apart. Sometimes I can do this with it in the crock pot still. Look at that. All of this chicken perfectly shredded that took me less than two minutes. So fast, and I'm gonna put this all back into the crock pot. So we're gonna put this right back into this liquid so that all those juices can coat all the chicken. It's perfectly delicious, shredded, juicy. Flavorful chicken that I didn't have to do nothing to just throw into the crock pot and put seasoning So now I want to do some content of rings because I just did my nails and they look all fresh and clean um, So I'm gonna figure out some of that and then we're gonna do something about my room because I don't I don't know what to do anymore start posting these clothes because this is Wild I need to just start moving things out and I need to just finish going through everything to see what I'm going to keep and what I'm not going to keep so how I'm going through it is like I told you guys I go through everything and then I give myself a couple of days to kind of like take a break from looking or thinking about it and then I go back and do it again I go through everything that I left in my closet that in my mind I'm going to keep and go through it again and I'm like okay Let's clear clear mind, go through it again, see what you're not going to keep. And my mindset when I'm doing this is at this exact moment, if I was in the store shopping or I was browsing online, would I add this to my cart and check out? And if the answer is no, either put it on a maybe pile, do something with it. There are some things that like these pants I've had for probably like six years, I'm never getting rid of them because I wear them every chance I get there's other things like this shirt I bought this and I'm so pissed I was never able to never able to fix it because it is so pretty I bought it on like a clearance um and it it was on sale because it was damaged um from this little boutique called Lauren Nicole downtown 
and it is this beautiful beautiful corset but i bought it because of the like this is like I, you guys know i love florals but you can see right here the piping is coming through so i've just never worn it i've had this now for a year and i've never worn it because this has always been damaged so it's like at this point like i need to just let it go i'm not going to wear it which sucks it was a waste of money but gotta let it go these gotta go so everything that is on here is basically gonna go and what i noticed looking through this it's lots of basics because obviously the basics are the staples of our wardrobe um all the bc bodysuits for obvious reasons a couple of dresses and like a couple of investment pieces and everything else just doesn't bring me as much joy like there's some things like that i'm like iffy about that are like in a maybe pile like this button up i love this button up it reminds me of italy i wore it on our honeymoon but i'm not sure if it's like bringing me joy right at this second i'm not i don't know i'm not sure and then everything else is just basics like these are all of my bodysuits all of my plain tees my crop tops my long sleeves all of my little klc nyc tops there's a couple bodysuits in here all of my button downs that i still love the solid colored ones <clears throat> printed ones more basics like fall basics and then there's like what 10 dresses in here i take really really good care of my clothing and my shoes so everything is in really really good condition these boots which i still love the print of them i love everything about them i love a snakeskin boot i just don't grab them enough i think i've worn them like four or five times but i've had them for a long time they're really good quality red ones just like those These I wore, I think, one time. It's like lint on them because they've just been sitting. But they're, again, perfect condition. And I love them. They're really, really comfortable. But I just don't ever grab them. I really love these boots. But, again, I'm just not really grabbing them. They have, like, a square toe. They're so good. And they look so expensive. But they, I think they were, like, 50, 50 bucks. I love the heel on them. Like, they're a really good boot. But... If I'm not wearing them all the time, then what's the point in having them in here when either someone else can use them if they're looking for a affordable black boot or I can donate them and somebody can use them. Even thinking about getting rid of these boots. I have had these boots and love these boots for so long. I've had these for years. I need to clean them because there's like something on there. But I love these boots. They're comfortable. They're cute. I love the color, but I just haven't grabbed for them in a while so even the same like these i'm so skeptical on letting go of because i bought these boots like when i first met tyler i thought these were the coolest boots ever nobody can give, could, could convince me and i still think they're really cool and really unique so because of that i'm like oh just keep them like i think they are so cool i have walked through all of london in these they have held up i've worn them so many times i've worn them in new york i love them they're from nine west so I feel like these I'll probably keep. Even these, I love these, but I just don't ever grab them. They're just like a nude pointed. Oh, I don't know, I love these. Got these from Nasty Gal like five years ago. And they have held up because again, I take care of all my stuff, like even the bottoms. But I don't know, I don't grab them. And it's like, if I don't grab them, I need to get rid of them. Like I have boxes over here that i don't even know if there's shoes in them there it is i gotta post those there's no shoes in here okay all the rest of these i don't think there's shoes in them yeah all the rest of these there's no shoes in them and then i have like coats jackets sweaters like this I'll probably sell, this, 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 keeping this, keeping this, keeping all these, I love all these coats, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I'm going to get rid of and I need to just start taking pictures and posting them on my Poshmark so we can start phasing this stuff out because if it doesn't bring you joy right at this moment, then there's no point in keeping it. And then I need to go through my bottoms because a lot of my bottoms I am not grabbing, like a lot of them. And I need to just let them go. 
sorry i've been kind of like mia i haven't really been filming um just some life changes that will be professional changes happening soon that i was just dealing with but i'm freaking hungry i'm freaking hungry and i don't know what to eat because i'm eating tacos tonight so it's like what else do i make <laughs> like all I, I have this shredded chicken so i can technically make anything i want but i'm gonna figure it out and then i'll come back and show you guys okay so i have made the decision to make tacos for lunch even though i'm having tacos for dinner i don't care because i have the food i know they're gonna hit the spot i know they're gonna be super delicious so who cares if i'm eating the same thing twice in these tacos i'm using these these are mission zero net carb tortillas i'm not keto i say this all the time i'm not on like any specific diet or anything i am just craving healthier things because of thanksgiving but i like these they're low cal low carb they taste exactly the same as all the other things they're just like mini street tacos and they're 25 calories per taco so it's like for those 100 calories with nothing pickled onions there's honey in here this is why it looks dark i have greek yogurts for sour cream and I have avocado and then I have the chicken already prepped. So it's like, and I'm gonna have an Olipop and it's gonna be fire. So yeah, I'm gonna heat four of these up. Got Greek yogurt, onions, I'm gonna use. If you don't ever have Greek yogurt for sour cream, you're missing out because you can have a lot more if you're somebody that likes sour cream. It tastes exactly the same as sour cream, but it's actually good for you. Like Greek yogurt is so good for you lower calorie you could have way more has the exact same taste see it is the chicken because of the chicken broth so good then I'm gonna put pico. Let me clean this up. It really isn't even pico because I forgot to buy cilantro, but it's onion, tomato. Seasoning and lime. Avocado. pickled onions and I'm just gonna use my fingers because I don't feel like pulling out a whole bunch of utensils for this and of course hot sauce Look at my delicious lunch. I haven't shown you guys like food in a while. And this is super low calorie, super healthy, super balanced, and it's gonna be super delicious. I'm gonna try the Tropical Punch Olipop, so I figured I'd get the initial reaction on screen. I expected it to be pink for some reason. I don't know why, like a pink or a red. It's not my favorite. I taste almost like a pineapple-y. Or like a coconut. And I'm not the biggest coconut fan. I'll still drink it because these things are expensive, but in my opinion, I wouldn't buy this one again. I definitely wouldn't buy this one again. As expected, the tacos were bomb. I really, really, really don't like the Tropical Punch Olipop. I really don't like it. I'm like forcing myself to drink it. It tastes almost like, I mean, this is obviously opinion. Like liking a certain food or not, or a certain drink or a flavor of something is very personal. So just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't. It tastes like a pina colada. And I don't like pina coladas. So that's why I don't like it. I know people love pina colada. 
So you would probably really like this. I don't like this even a little bit. Like I give this like a two out of 10 for me. And the only reason I'm not giving it a one is because it's not a nasty flavor. Like I can see people liking it. It's just not my personal fave, so. Can't, can't win them all, right? I got one of my little cream savers. I am starting to take photos of my stuff that I'm gonna sell. Most of the stuff, because I really do wear all my stuff, I have photos in, but I like to take like detailed pictures so that people can see what they're getting. I'm not trying to show pictures or like give people something that they don't really know how the quality is looking. So I'm just, I just took a picture of the red boots. I'm about to take a picture of a couple other ones. And then clothing wise, I have to check um, like my Instagram, because that's usually where like all my photos are to see if I have pictures and then I can upload from there. But I'm literally just putting them in the hutch so I can take pictures because it's just a really even clean background. And then you just go through and you list them. So that's what I'm doing right now. So I guess I'll do a nice little time lapse. Not that that's fun. And I'll leave my um, Poshmark for you guys down below because I did get, I can't remember how many comments it was. If it was one person, if it was a couple that were like, oh, um, share your Poshmark. So here I am just doing that and there's Oliver being weird. I am going through and listing a whole bunch of stuff on my Poshmark right now. I don't remember if I said this already, but I'm gonna leave it linked down below in case you are around my size. I range between a small and a medium in pretty much everything. In jeans, I'm a size 28 slash six, and in shoes, I'm between a seven and a half and an eight, depending on the shoe. Um, but yeah, I'm just spending the rest of the evening until Tyler gets home and I actually get to like see him and talk to him. I'm just gonna do this and try to list as many as I can and I will link it for you guys when I'm done. It is like pitch black outside. Whoa. I'm about to change and get like comfy for the evening. Today it definitely went so different than I expected it would when I woke up, but that is life. I ordered another strapless little top. Um, I wear this one probably like twice a week because I love it so much. So I ordered a white one. It's from NAKD. They have, you could just literally search at, like strapless bandeau tops. They have some on Amazon as well. But I am shocked at how much I wore that style of top. So. I placed an order for Black Friday because it was on clearance. It was um like 11 bucks and I'm like, well, I really, I wear that black strapless so much. I can't, I think I got it in white. Yeah. But I'm probably going to get more colors of that style of top because I just, I really, really like it a lot. Oh, and someone had asked me if I was going to get another Christmas tree for all my food ornaments and I really want to. I just do not want to spend a lot of money on one because I already have like my main tree. I'm a little bummed I didn't find jeans, but I have to go through my jeans now as well to see what I'm gonna get rid of. Like I have some that I still love, like these right here, these are my mom jeans from Abercrombie. I still really like these. I'm gonna wear them. And yes, my body suit's hanging out because I'm about to change it. I need to put like the cell pile in a different section than the donate pile so that I know what I need to make sure I keep my eyes on. So, a lot of it I'm donating because a lot of it I don't care to make money on or like make money off, which really you're not even making money because this is something you bought, but. Donating. I 
can probably sell these. I'm just so tired of having so much shit. I really am. Like a lot of the stuff, I'm just like, okay, I'll vanilla. I definitely wear that during Christmas. Letter 28 or 22. I wear that. Definitely want to get rid of this. It smells like. Suntal. And I want to be done with Suntal. I'm so over the smell. This smells so good. Skylar Vanilla Sky. Delish. I don't even have a lot of perfumes. And I used to have like mass amounts. But I literally have only been wearing this. The vanilla oil. And the Bianco Latte. This is like my newest one. And this is the one that I'm getting compliment after compliment after compliment i get i have never gotten complimented more than with this perfume i just everything that like doesn't make me really excited i don't want it anymore like i just want to like phase it out of my life so that i can only carry and have things that i love i have a diptyque perfume here a rose this i cannot smell this anymore i used to love this perfume but ever since my sense of smell changed, I cannot smell this. Oh, my David Yerman ring. Look how dirty and gross it looks. I should take it to get polished. I used to wear this every single day. Also, when I hit 18,000 subscribers, I'm like 100 away. I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this perfume. It's from Tiffany's. I, um... I got it as like a PR, or like a gifted thing, but it's just not my personal taste in perfume. Um, some people really love it, but it's just my sense of smell changed so much that it's just not my personal fave. It is the toilet. I don't even know. I'm not sure what it's called. It's a brand new. I've never worn it. It's been in that bag forever. And I was like, okay, well, when I get to 18,000 subscribers, I will gift that to somebody. So hopefully someday soon, I'll get to 18,000 and I'll be able to gift that to one of you guys. I've literally kept it in the Tiffany's bag in this room for so long. I really have to say decluttering your space makes the world of a difference because I just cleaned up all those clothes from the floor. These are two huge bags going to donation this week. I cleared off this whole rack basically. Put this up here somewhere. I just feel a lot better. Tyler just got home. He's like, I brought you something. He brought me wine and a pint of my favorite ice cream. So I think I'm going to start winding down and just getting ready to have dinner. I'm going to eat the uh, chicken that I made. Not really in the mood for wine, so I'm not going to drink that. But he got me my favorite, oh God, my boobs, uh, Clay Creek Vineyards. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I feel like I don't even remember what happened today because my day just went all over the place. But um, yeah, I will leave anything that I mentioned. I'll leave my Poshmark link down below. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to vlog tomorrow. I don't think I am um, because in the morning I'm going to Brundelands because we have a couple things that we have to take care of. Um, I have to pick up inventory from her. And then I think I'm going to my best friend's house later in the evening. I'll probably vlog Wednesday. I really like how my nails came out though. Okay, I hope you guys have a good night.